Guess we're not moving you anytime soon. I'm in the sprayer. We're going to go take the boom off of the sprayer and put the side dress toolbar on so I can go custom side dress some acres for a guy. Let's go get this thing off of here. time is it? It's the best time of the day! Lunch time! A little more lunch pail etiquette for you. If you are going to leave your lunch pail in a hot vehicle for any amount of time, always make sure it's covered with a shirt because you see it's way cooler covered with a white shirt than it would have been if it weren't covered. Lunch pail tips with Caleb. So it is lunch time but we run into a little bit of a problem here. There's no seat belt so now how do you keep your lunch pail up here because we learned the most important thing you can do is always keep your lunch pail easily accessible. You need to have a bungee strap with you. That bungee strap is going to fasten to somewhere down here. Find basically anything to strap it to that's not the door because if you open the door and this is strapped to the door then all your lunch is going outside and you have to quit for the day. Bungee strapped, lunch pail is easily accessible, we're good to go. Problem now, I don't have a cup holder big enough for my water. Probably a good idea to make sure everything works before we take off. Looks like everything works. Let's go try to get something done. Made it to the field, and we've got a bunch of product behind us in these two tanks. I'm gonna try to get it pumped onto the sprayer here as quick as I can. Well, actually, I'm just gonna try to get it pumped on without breaking something. Wait for it to fill. See that little green ball? It means we're full. finish this field. So as I'm sitting in the confines of my comfortable office editing this video I realize most of you guys don't have any idea what I mean when I talk about side dressing. Corn needs three essential nutrients nitrogen, potassium, phosphorus. One of those nutrients nitrogen can move with the water it attaches to the water and so we feel that one of our best ways to get that nitrogen to the corn without putting too much or too little on is to do it in two applications. So we'll put it on as anhydrous in the spring and then we come back now and we side dress and put a little bit more nitrogen fertilizer on in season while the corn's growing. Now you're not wondering what side dressing is. It's been a long day, you're tired, you're worn out, and you just want a meal. When you go to open your trusty lunch pail, all you find is a cold sandwich. Dejected, you stare at that sandwich trying to decide whether or not you want to put it in your mouth. Worry not, I have. 
a sandwich warmer for you. Unbeknownst to most people, every piece of farm equipment with a motor has a built-in sandwich warmer on it. You just gotta find it. To warm your sandwich, simply open up the engine compartment. Find a spot on your engine where you can place your sandwich safely and it won't fall off. We just make a few rounds until your sandwich is warm and toasty. While my sandwich warms, I'll return to the comfort of my air-conditioned cab. Maybe. The door's kind of hard to get open. Kid you not. Got 100 yards to go. All I had to do was get down there. Not even 100 yards, like 50. And I just ran out. So I'll go fill up and then come back and finish. Got refilled. Got that last half pass done. All 50 yards of it. And we're going to head off to the next field. There's 105 acres. I really want to get it done tonight because... Tomorrow I am hoping to put gutters on the house and get started on some of the flooring in there. So, uh, it could be a late night. I do believe supper's ready. Just have to go back and get it off the engine. Nice and warm. You see that there was a little bit of steam that came out of there. About nine acres and 8.2 miles on the road and you'll have yourself a warm sandwich. Delicious. I said I'd have this truck empty tonight, but I just can't get there. I had a seal that went out in a hose that I had to fix, and so I'm going to fill, and then I think I'm going to drive the truck home, and hopefully that's okay with them. And finish this in the morning. Look at all those bugs. Yeah. That's it for tonight. I'm going home, going to bed. See you guys tomorrow. I had all the best intentions last night of getting up really early and getting going a really good time. And then all three kids woke up with fevers in the middle of the night. So I'm not getting as good of a start as I wanted. But we're gonna go, we're gonna try to get this side dressing done out of the way. I picked up one more field that I gotta do. We're gonna just we're just gonna try to get that done today and then go to bed. That, ladies and gentlemen, is what you call grinding gears. Almost forgot to check the oil. Remember, we're all about safety here. All about safety first. The very first thing you need to always ensure whenever you get into a vehicle is that your lunch pail is secured. You may not be wearing a seatbelt and get ejected from the cab if there's an accident. Well, what are you going to do if your lunch pail gets ejected and you don't? Then you don't have anything to eat. I've run into what would be a minor problem for most people, but is a major problem for me because I'm a sweaty guy. Air conditioning has decided it's going to stop working in here, so it is hotter in here than it is outside and it's supposed to be 80 degrees outside today. So it is gonna be like 85 to 90 in this cab. And I called my uh, air conditioning service guy and he's out fixing someone else's right now and he said he could probably get to me by four or 5 p.m., which is not great. So I'm sitting on the road. This crew just decides to drop a tree in the middle of the road and then carry it around the corner. Hey, you know what? Everyone does it their own way. This isn't something that you want to see. Well, up here is the main hydraulic pump. We've got a pretty major leak coming from somewhere up there. That's leaving that spot on the ground. I think what we're looking at right down in here is a little seal that looks like it blew out. I'm headed to side dress for Tanner, and Tanner's got a lot of hydraulic parts, so I think he's sending one of his guys over. Planter service man, sprayer repair man. Yeah. Do it all. Yeah. I think it's just a seal. Got a new O-ring on. I think this is gonna fix it. Just that, that little guy down there. No leaks, I think we're good. We can put a little bit more hydraulic oil in. 
Man, after all that work, I am super hungry. Time to warm up my lunch. I've got pizza today. So instead of filling in like five minutes, it's probably got like 15 minutes here. It took so long I could have cooked a whole pizza on there. Just like I was at home cooking it on the pizzazz. I wasn't gonna bring you guys out here because I was just filling and it's pretty uneventful to watch me fill all the time, but I'm up here checking to see how much is left and all of a sudden I hear crash, boom, 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 clatter, 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 sparks flying everywhere. That guy's supposed to be connected, but he's not. The day where everything went wrong is today. on that hydraulic alternator I got. That's not what I wanted to hear. They couldn't get the pump in the truck to work. Tanner brought another pump down and we're gonna try to see if we can get this one to work. It's just sitting on the ground. So we got this loaded up. We have 1,200 gallons on. Tanner is gonna come right around because technically this is his farm. Tanner is our agronomist. He's our planter guy. He's our fix everything guy. So when anything goes wrong, I call him and he always has the answer. The answers aren't always right, but he always has the answer. I won't even look at the camera. Silence. <laughs> so we're headed to the back side of the field and we have to cross what we call a Missouri crossing. So we're essentially crossing a creek. I've never been across this one. This toolbar doesn't really like them. So we're gonna see how this goes. Uneventful, that's how we want it. It was now 10.30 and I thought, hey, I'm done. It's time to go home. But uh, I sent a picture to Tanner and Tanner said, hey, down in here, there's something that needs to be done. And guess what? That means I'm gonna go back across the creek in the dark. Exactly what I wanna do at this time of night is go back across the creek I'm unfamiliar with. across. Now I gotta go try to find these three acres somewhere. I finished side dressing at about 11 last night. Now we are done with the toolbar for now so we have it cleaned up. We are going to get it taken off the sprayer and get the boom put back on so we can spray corn. 